Hello everyone, I'm Joyce Ann and I am the Kentucky Dolly Mom. If you're one of my amazing subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. And if you would like to become one of my amazing subscribers, please click on the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Share them with your Dolly friends so my channel can continue to grow. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome, everyone, to my little corner of the world. I am so glad you guys decided to stop by today because I have Scout with me, and she needs a little bit warmer clothes on. It's a nice day today, but... The evenings and night times are starting to get a little cool. So I thought we would change her into something a little warmer. And today is the hashtag on Wednesdays we wear pink. And it is hosted by the lovely, lovely Shara over at Living Reborn, uh, Living Reborn Nursery. I do hope I said that right. <laughs> Um, but her uh, channel will be linked in the title, so please go over and check her out if you haven't discovered uh, Shara's um, Living Reborn Dolls. I really believe you'll enjoy her channel just as much as I do, and I I will have it linked in, in the title, so uh, hopefully I didn't say her nursing her channel name wrong uh, but today I'm gonna go ahead and change Scout and for all of my amazing subscribers uh, you already know who this little lady is uh, but for the new ones if you're new to my channel I would like to tell you and of course anyone that may have forgot um, this is the Scout Sculpt by Jennifer Sussman Price at Silicone Studios and I have made her a partial uh, and she has the limbs from the Lucia Sculpt um, by Sherry Williams. And I did, whoops, we're gonna have to turn you over, sweetheart, because Mama's having a little trouble with those buttons right now. These little buttons really get to me. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have snaps any day. Um, but I did uh, paint the head. I did not paint the limbs. And just as a reminder, she is available for sale. She is still hoping that her forever mommy or daddy and or daddy is out there somewhere. Because she really, really loves to be snuggled and loved and she needs somebody to do that that's going to just cherish, cherish, cherish this little girl, which I absolutely love her. I have to give her up to make room for new babies, and the new babies will be smaller. Um, she's just a little too heavy. Just a little too heavy for me. She is 21 inches and about 7 pounds. And I have her actually weighed uh, in the bottom with glass granules. And in the top, she's got little tiny pieces of silicone. So she is extra, extra soft and snuggly. I think her diaper's okay. We just changed it the other day. It feels good. I think we're going to just leave the diaper on. But, you know, she is for sale, but as long as she's here, 
I'm going to enjoy her as much as I can. And today being the on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Uh, she's going to start out with this purple uh, onesie. Won't be able to see it anyway. But it does have the pink trim. It's got a cute little uh, pink uh, bunny with a little pink bow. It's got a couple, she's holding a flower. And it's trimmed in pink at the bottom. And then I've got this very soft, soft, sweet, whole piece uh, romper, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's not really a one um, sleeper. But it is one piece. It's got the snaps on the side. Snaps between the legs. It's on a white background with pink stripes and a big pink heart. And I'm going to put these cute little white, uh, I'm sorry, pink, <laughs> pink socks that has little white dots and a rainbow. And I'm going to put these little soft cloth shoes that are trimmed in pink and purple with little pink shoelaces. And I'll top her off with this pink bow. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh... Sorry, I'm getting a little, a little late start. I've uh, really just not been feeling good for the last couple days, and I'm really having to push myself to do anything. But it's what happens, folks, when you get old. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm starting to really, really, really feel my age, I guess. But we're going to start out with putting her onesie on. And I do hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful, blessed, blessed day. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I was absolutely thrilled to go on Mel from Mel and Lori's Nursery uh, and see that she had up posted an update on her community page that her surgery went well. And that she is home recuperating. And as always, guys, we still need to give her some prayers and keep her in our thoughts. Because it's going to be a little while. I mean, she's, she's going to really need our love and support and prayers. Because it'll take her a little while. To recuperate from this and we do pray that she does have a full and speedy recovery uh, I'm going to try to keep her from sliding uh, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I can try to do as many videos uh, in my nursery as I can. Um, and I wanted to be able to prop her up and she's wanting to continue to slide down. Now this little onesie I should have told you is a, I forget the um, brand, but it is a zero to three months. And, as you can see, it does fit her pretty well. She does have full limbs, too, by the way. If you can't tell, she's on a nice, soft, soft dough suede body. She's really, really a snuggler. She's an Eco 20. Soft, 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 soft. Very, 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 very soft. Eco 20. And I'd love to know what you guys have been up to. Uh, like I said, I've not been feeling too well, so I've been getting a little, 
a little painting done just because I really don't hardly have the energy uh, to do much else. Uh, it's like I, I don't know, I feel some days, you know, that I'm doing better and then it's like, boom, get knocked right back down. And for those of you who know me, uh, know that I'm having some issues with my heart. And uh, sometimes it really um, makes it difficult. And I'm having, I should have picked something else for you, lady. This is not a easy task for some reason. I'm not able to grab her. There we go. I wasn't able to grab the little hand because I don't want to rip her. So I like to pull the little hand up through there like that. There we go. There we go. That's working much better. Uh, now, as I've said before, she does need, uh, especially her limbs, her limbs need to be rematted. That's why her clothes don't slide on quite as easy because she is just a little bit sticky. Don't like putting powder on her. Uh, and that's why she's uh, shiny. And I thought that I would actually remat her on video. Um, I, as, as an artist, and I've been an artist, uh, be 15 years in January, that I, I get so, so many, uh, messages, people, you know, their babies are shiny and they think the paint's coming off and they need to be repainted when they're just shiny. It's not the paint coming off, it's the matting. Uh, matting doesn't stay forever. It does kind of wear down. Um, and it just needs to be rematted. That takes the stickiness away and the shine. Now, if they're properly painted and properly cured, the paint will not come off. Uh, if they're properly sealed, they will not peel. Um, when you have peeling, that's because it wasn't properly sealed and properly cured or not maybe necessarily properly, but not uh, fully cured. And then if you, you know, give them a bath, you know, I give mine a bath after I'm at them because that you, know, you have to wash the matting powder off. And, you know, if you do it too soon, it'll, it'll um, mess up the, um, the curing. And that's when you tend to have some peeling. Uh, the peel is normally the seal that's peeling. Uh, and that should not happen if it's properly sealed. And they, they don't need repainting, guys. Uh, the paint should not fade. Definitely should not rub off. Uh, it's not like painting vinyl. When you paint vinyl, the paint actually sits on top of your vinyl pieces. But when you paint silicone, when that, sili when that paint cures, it actually becomes part of the silicone. So being properly cured, uh, and you have to clean them. They, they go through about four washes uh, just to prepare the silicone 
to paint. So the first thing I do when I get them is they get a nice hot soapy bath with Dawn dish liquid. And then they get a scrub down. And when I say scrub, I mean scrub with acetone, which uh, you've really got to get into all the little, all the little bitty creases because when they're poured, uh, the pourer will put in a release agent, which helps the mold come, or the um, sculpt come out of the mold uh, without sticking and tearing. And if you don't, and, and it gets in, I mean, it gets, you, you put that uh, release agent through, you know, the whole baby, you get it down in the ears and you know, every little crease to make sure that it's not going to rip and tear when you pull it out of the mold. So, that will not take silicone paint. The paint will not cure. So, you have to clean it and make sure it's good and clean. And so, what I do is I... and. I've been doing this ever since I started, and I haven't really had a problem with it. Um, I give them a good scrub down with hot soapy Dawn dish liquid. Then they get another, or they get the scrub down with acetone. Then they get another hot soapy Dawn um, dish liquid bath. And then they get another scrub down with acetone. Now, you really don't have to wash the acetone off. And you, you really want, you don't. You want to, it just evaporates. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I've got to get me a drink of water. But, um... <clears throat> the acetone evaporates and you don't want to, you know, rewash them in Dawn dish liquid because you want to make sure there's no, no kind of residue on there at all. So, yay. Your mama's talking, not paying no attention and I've put her little shoe on the wrong foot. Uh, but you don't want there to be any residue left. So you use the acetone again and then uh, let it evaporate uh, before you start painting. So if it's cleaned properly, the paint should cure nicely. If it's sealed, and matted properly, there should be no peeling uh, or rubbing off of any kind of, you know, the paint. Uh, the matting powder, like I said, the matting will eventually rub off, especially if you give them lots of snuggles and, you know, with the full bodies, if you're bathing them, dressing them a lot, you will lose the matting powder, but it's an easy, fix guys that I know each and every one of you watching would be able to do versus having someone pay you know pay someone to do it <clears throat> so I think what I'll do when I get ready to remat her lens I'll do it on camera just so you guys can see just how easy it is and that way when you start seeing some shiny spots uh oh can't let can't let becca see that <laughs> let's stick it down up there we go gotta get them sleeves up uh 
But, you know, some people really get upset and think, oh, my baby's losing the coloring, you know, because they look shiny. The paint doesn't look as vibrant when, uh, you know, the matting starts coming off. So, I just want to show everyone how it's not a disaster. It's not an expensive fix. And it's something you can do yourself. So, when it's time to redo this little lady, uh, after you mat, you do let it cure completely for 24 hours before you wash it off. So, uh, if I knew how to edit my videos, I would mat it, let it cure, wash them, and, you know, put that washing video in with the matting video and then the video to put her back together. But you don't know how to do that. So you may see it in three videos <laughs> or we'll, we'll just play it by ear and let her have her little lamb because she does like the soft little pink lamb. But that's it, guys, for me today. I think I will let you all go because I know you probably have some things that you would like to do. And I really, really appreciate you all coming by. Absolutely love it when you all come by and visit me in my little corner of the world. Spending time with me is not something you have to do. So when you do it, I am just so grateful, and I really, really want you all to know that. You know that if you can hear my voice, you are in my thoughts and prayers. Even if I don't know specific names, God knows who I'm praying for. And I do truly believe in the power of of prayer uh, and as always please give God thanks because if it wasn't for him we wouldn't be here in the first place let's be kind let's be nice and let's be supportive of one another I really appreciate your all support you guys are amazing and you got to be subscribed to be one of my amazing subscribers. So please, please make sure you're subscribed if you like my videos. And let's keep sharing them because you guys are doing amazing on my channel. It's growing very nicely. And before you know it, I'll be at 500. Once I get to 500, I will do a drawing. So that will be very fun and very exciting. So please, guys, as always, I do hope that you have a blessed, blessed day. And I will see you on your next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.